All right, guys, so I'm going to teach you how to install custom mods and everything for NBA 2K13. Now, most of you guys probably already know this, but, you know, this is going to help people that don't know get introduced to the PC game. Um, so I'm going to use the my NCAA 13 uh, modification as an example for this. When you download a mod, it's not going to be, you know, ready to go usually. If it says an if file or a roster file at the end, it's ready to go. Normally, you'll get a 7Z file or a zip file or a RAR file, which, which means you have to extract it first. So I use WinRAR. You can just simply go in here and just drag it and put it on your desktop for right now. And this is going to take a second because it is a big mod. So we can go ahead and close this. Open up the folder we just created with the extracted files. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the save files. This is a roster file. You can tell by the ROS, the ROS. To find your saves folder, you need to go to the start menu. This is for Windows 7 right here. You do per, um, percentage sign, app, data, percentage sign, just like that. Press enter. It'll take you to your roaming folder inside app data. From here, you go to 2K Sports, NBA 2K13, and then saves. This is where you want to put this roster file. You just copy it right in there, or you move it in there. As you can see, I already have it here. Um, and then for future reference, it's always good to have this file. So if you right click and drag to your desktop, you can create a shortcut. That way, if you ever have to install another custom roster again, double click, opens right up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the big thing is usually with the if files. Um, the if files, uh, the uh, CDF files, these are textures and models that the game needs, or that the game uses, I guess the best way to put it. So, to find your main folder, and, and that's what we call you know the main folder of the game, the best thing to do is to find your shortcut that you have for the game. So I have mine right here. Go to Properties, go to Open File Location. <coughs> Excuse me. That will take you right to the main folder. You'll know it's the main folder because you'll see NBA2K13.exe. This is where you need to be. So to install, all you do is you take the if file, you move it over, and you if you want to replace it, you replace it. The best, the smart thing to do is that if you don't want to overwrite an original file, is you first rename it to negative one, you know, just original, just so you have the original files. Because again, at the NLSC, we do not allow the redistribution of original files. You have to get them off your disk or re-download it off Steam. So bring this over, and there you go. You've installed that mod that changes that logo file. Um, that is basically the ins and outs of it. It's just a matter of moving files, and hopefully that... Uh, clears up any confusion for people who are getting introduced to the PC version of the game. So I hope that helps, and I hope that you learned something. If you need help, feel free to comment. Okay? Bye-bye.